Question number five. So this question is from the topic five of your curriculum, specifically the kinematic section. So we have a particle moves along a straight line. Its displacement s meters from a fixed point O after time t second is given by this equation, where t value is between zero and the ten. The particle first come to rest after q seconds. We need to find the value of the q. So at rest means when the ds over dt is equal to zero or the displacement is equal to zero. So we first have to differentiate function s of t in terms of t so we are doing ds over dt okay so since this is a gdc question we're going to just use the gdc to solve this question so what you need to do is so what we are going to do is we're going to go to mathematics and we're going to go n derivative and we're going to type in our equation there so 5.2 sine square root 4x, I'm using x instead of t, plus 6, and then close the bracket, and then you're going to uh, substitute x here, and you're going to grab it, okay? And since uh, the t value have to be between 0 and 10, we're going to uh, zoom into our graph, and we're going to find the uh, the roots on your graph. Okay, so we're going to go second car, and we're going to find the zero, and then we're going to choose the left bound, and also we're going to identify our right bound, and hit enter, and then find the zero. So here we have found the zero value or the roots. Uh, t goes 4.05165, right? So we can say that Q value is approximately 4.05. Okay, then let's do question B. So we need to find the total distance uh, that the particle travels in the first Q seconds. So this second part of the question gives us the range, right? 0 to Q seconds, right? And then since we need to find the total distance, this is a definite integral question. Okay, so that means we can set our equation as 0 to q, or we can say 0 to 4.05165, since we know the q value already from the previous question of s of t in terms of dt, right? This is how we set the equation for question b. Then we can rewrite this as absolute s of t and t value is equal to 4.05165 for the first part minus s of t uh, where t value is equal to 0. Okay, So when we substitute 4.05165 into our function s of t, we get uh, negative 5.2. And when we substitute 0 into our t, as our t in the function s of t, we get minus or the positive 3.3184197, okay? Then we get final answer of 8.5184. So we can say that distance is approximately 8.52. Question number 6. So we have a question from the topic 4 of your curriculum, specifically statistics section, and it is focusing on the expected value concept. So here we have a table shows the probability distribution of a discrete random variable x, where a and k values are uh, possibly a positive real numbers. So we have uh, expected value equal to 2.6, and we need to find the value of the A. And you can see that the table has 
two unknown variables, which are k and the a, right? So we do know that that means uh, 1 times k plus 2 times k squared plus 3 times a plus 4 times k cubed is equal to uh, 2.6. However, on having only one equation uh, doesn't really solve our issue here, right? Since we have two unknown variables, we need a two equations to solve those, right? So we're going to set another equation using the concept of probability always add up to one, okay? So we do know that the k plus k squared plus a plus k cubed is equal to one, okay? Then we can rewrite the second equation as a equals one minus k minus k squared minus k cubed and substitute this into our first equation, okay? Then we get k plus 2k squared plus 3 times 1 minus k minus k squared minus k cubed plus 4k cubed equals to 2.6. Then this is same as k plus 2k squared plus 3 minus 3k minus 3k squared minus 3k cubed plus 4k cubed equals to 2.6. Then this simplifies into uh, 3 minus 2k minus k squared plus k cubed equals to 2.6. Then uh, we can rewrite this as minus 2k minus k squared plus k cubed equals to 2.6 minus 3, which is same as minus 0 0.4 and the left hand side is the same then using your GDC we can find the intersection between these two parts okay so so we can do a negative 2x minus x squared plus x cubed equals to a negative 0 0.4 and we can graph it and you can see that there are two intersections right so we can say the then we can calculate the intersections then we can find our first intersection point as uh, 0 0.18593 and the second intersection point as uh, 1.92922, okay? So you can see that uh, both k values, or x values actually k values, so we can rewrite, as, rewrite this as the k equals 0 0.18593, k equals 1.92922. Right? So you can see that both of them are still positive real numbers, but we have to make sure that a value is also positive real number, right? So what you're going to do is we're going to now substitute these values into this equation here, okay? The a equals 1 minus k minus k squared minus k cubed equation. Then you will get the a value for the first one you will get a value equals to 0 0.77307. For the second one, you get the a value equals to negative 11.828, right? So you can see that uh, this set of the equation does not fulfill the requirement. However, the first set of the equation fulfills the requirement of being uh, positive real numbers. So we can say that so we can say that k value is equals to 0 0.186, a value is equals to 0 0.773.